Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious edible guts, also known as blueberry sweet rolls. So this is perfect for Halloween, perfect for this time of the year. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start off with is our dough. We're going to mix two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast and three and a quarter cups of warm water in a bowl. Then you're going to let that sit for five minutes. Next, we're going to mix in a half a cup of softened butter, two eggs, and a quarter cup of sugar. So at this point, you don't have to worry about mixing it all the way through. It will get completely mixed in once we add our all-purpose flour. So now we're going to add three cups of all-purpose flour a little bit at a time. I also added a half a teaspoon of salt to my flour. So if you guys are using a KitchenAid mixer like I am, you're going to switch to a dough hook and you're going to mix this for five minutes. So now we're going to put our dough in a bowl and we're going to cover it with a damp cloth and we're going to let it rise for about an hour and a half. So while we wait on our dough to rise, we're going to make our blueberry filling. So in a saucepan, you're going to add two cups of fresh or frozen blueberries, a quarter cup of sugar, two tablespoons of orange juice, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So next we're going to cook this on medium heat until the blueberries start to break down. So next we're going to add our slurry. So I mix two tablespoons of water with one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and I'm going to add it to my blueberry filling. You're going to cook it until it thickens then you're going to remove it from the heat and let it cool. So now that our dough has doubled in size for an hour and a half, we're going to start rolling it out into a rectangle. Next we're going to add cubes of softened butter on top of the dough. Then you're going to add your cooled blueberry filling right on top, making sure that you're spreading it out evenly. So next we're going to start rolling up our dough, then we're going to start cutting the dough into one and a half inches. So next is the fun part. You're going to start to unroll your blueberry rolls and arrange the strips onto the pan. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to do this, just have fun with it. So I'm just going side to side, arranging each strip on top of one another. After this, we're going to proof this for 30 minutes. Then we're going to bake it in a 365 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. So once it's out of the oven, you're going to let it cool for 10 minutes before you put your glaze on top. So for the glaze, I just mixed a half a cup of powdered sugar, four to five tablespoons of heavy cream, depending how thick or thin you want your fake blood to be. I also added one teaspoon of vanilla, three to four drops of red food coloring, and one drop of black food coloring. I really hope you guys try this treat for Halloween. It looks great and tastes even better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.